Okay, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a basic module, and after, we will create something similar to the database service or API. Let's get started. For this lesson, I'm going to use only modern JavaScript. Let's delete this old syntax. Now I have a question. What do you think about architecture of this simple application? In my opinion, it's bad, because we implement class and create an object in the same file. Uh, but we should separate them into different modules. Let's do it. To create a module, we should create a new file with the same name as the class. It's not mandatory, but it's good practice to use the same name. OK. Now let's copy these lines and paste it in our module. OK. Now it's not bad application, but these two files don't know about each other. First of all, we should export this module and import here. To export this module, we should write module dot exports and assign our class. OK, now let's import our module. To import this module, we should create constant variable with name course, because our module is course, and using require, we are importing our module. Because our files are in the same place, we are using dot slash. And now, import course. OK, let's check. Everything is working. Using this module concept, let's create database uh, service. Create new file with course database or course API. It doesn't matter. And now let's create new function. Const course database. Here we should assign new function. Let's use arrow functions. Now return object. Here we should create some keys with different methods. Let's, uh, cre let's create database info. And assign new method. Let's write console log. And here we should display uh, some information about the course. For example, course ID. Sorry, course ID class ID and course name course title class title okay now we should call this method in the class module why don't we use uh, directly in the index because this course database is related to the course, and it's better to use these two modules together. Let's import this module in the class module. const course database and require. Course database. OK. But here we should export it. Write module exports equals and what should we do now? Because here we are exporting method, we should write course database and add parenthesis. Okay? Here we are exporting class. 
but here we are exporting method. Do you see the difference? Okay. Now we don't need to string function. Let's delete it. Also, I'm going to add ID in the constructor. This ID equals ID. Okay. Now I'm going to create new method and using this method call this function. Okay. Let's create method database request, for example. And here we should write course database and call our method database info. We don't need to create new object or something like that because we are directly using these functions because it's kind of API. Now let's call this function in the index file. Delete course to string and write course dot db request okay now let's check it doesn't show anything because this database info doesn't have uh, some input parameters let's change it we should write here course because we're gonna uh, get some information from the course and here we should write some inputs Uh, what inputs are we gonna send? We're gonna send all these parameters, but like an object. Because we are using this object, we should write keyword this. And now using the course, you can get access to the ID and get access to the title. Okay, let's check. Everything is working. One more recommendation for you is uh, to use here object instead of using many parameters in the constructor. Let's create this object and call it data. And using data, you are getting access to the ID, title, and author. Okay? Um, but it doesn't work now. Let's check. It's undefined. Why? Because here we are sending not object. Let's change it and send object. Open curly braces, close curly braces, and let's create some keys. Title, okay, and key author. And one more key, ID. Zero, zero, 001 Okay Now we can send ID You see here we don't have ID but now we have Zero, zero, 001. Everything is working. Don't forget to practice and see you in the next video, guys.